So what are you thinking right now? How about your feelings? What are you feeling in this moment? Now, which one do you think drives your behavior, your thoughts or your feelings? Well, I guess like most people, you would say, oh, it's my thoughts. Of course, my thoughts drive everything. Well, <laughs> I'm here to lovingly confront you and say, no, that's not true. Modern neuroscience now shows it's our feelings that drive our thoughts and therefore our behaviors. And if your life isn't where you want it, it's because you've been following the old paradigm, the wrong paradigm. And that if you want to succeed in life, if you want to reach your goals and achieve living in the greatest version of yourself, what we need is to develop emotional mastery. Welcome back to the Heal the Hurt podcast. That's what we're going to tackle today. The old paradigm that it's our thoughts that drive everything. Because isn't that what we've been told for centuries? That it's our intellect and emotions are bad. Don't have emotions. Don't talk about them. Don't deal with them. And if they ever come up, the emotions are the death of our intellect. And the problem in society is all these emotional people. Well, do you hear what happens when somebody says all that? They're very elevated emotionally. <laughs> so what does that tell you right there? Their emotion about the situation is driving their intellect and their behavior. Now I'm going to give you the science behind it because just pointing out how obvious it is isn't enough. People need to know. Now, the first thing you're going to have to recognize is as I tell you about all this stuff, you're going to have some feelings. Most of those feelings are going to be negative for some of you. You're going to be like, uh-uh, no, no, he's wrong. It's not, our, it's not our feelings, it's our thoughts. You're going to get defensive, angry. You're going to want to shut down and push it away. You're going to have severe feelings about this new information. That's normal. And here's why. This is the first thing to recognize and why we now know that it's our feelings that drive everything we do, not our thoughts. The way we process information, did you know that everything you touch, smell, see, hear, or taste, all incoming information comes to your thalamus, the emotional center of your brain, where your amygdala, all these different parts, pieces, which I'm going to stay out of. Okay? So as you're listening to me, all the information that's coming into you is hitting the emotional center of your brain. And from there, it's bouncing off of different aspects of that emotional center. And it's looking for past emotional experiences to catalog. All right? What was my first experience with experiencing I might be wrong, that I might have made a mistake? Childhood, right? Think of it as a child. You're an infant. You're about to crawl down the stairs. You're two years old. Mom, dad, no, no, no. Boom. Your first sense was fear. I heard this shrieking voice. I felt these hands grab me and pull me back. Oh my God, sheer terror. Now you don't remember that. You were two years old and just a child or a year old and crawling. But that's what your brain is seeking. And so the rejection of new information is that feeling that you're experiencing. And so the thought of being wrong, you know, then later, older, you get into, you know, school and having the wrong answer, playing sports and making a mistake. We've cataloged all of thousands and thousands of life experiences where we made mistakes, where we didn't have the answer, the right information. And that's generated this enormous feeling of I can't be wrong. It's a total crushing of the soul that I am somehow weak and valid. There's shame in it. There's guilt in it. There's these overwhelming, catastrophic feelings. And so that's why whenever, this is why it's so hard for humans to change. It's because that cataloging of thousands of negative emotional experiences hits us before we ever can Think about it and even consider the new information. So you look at all the political strife in the world, all the social strife in the world. What you're seeing is both sides refusing to hear anybody's information. Because why? They have decades, of, depending on their age, decades and decades of negative experiences with so-called being wrong. They are all reacting emotionally before they can ever get to intellect. So do you see, if you want to improve your intellect and your response, you need to improve your emotional capabilities, your emotional mastery.